Crime never rests in New York State, but neither do the New York State Police Forensic Lab investigators digging to solve it. In 2018, the lab produced 13,000 reports on 14,000 cases from over 30,000 pieces of evidence. And every week, up to 30 offenders are linked by DNA to those crimes. The headquarters in Albany house the latest technology in criminal investigation cases. A lot of people think they want to be a forensic scientist because they watch shows on TV called CSI, and those shows are extremely unrealistic um, in terms of the same people being out at the crime scene and being experts in everything in the lab and then going and interviewing people afterwards and the analysis getting done in 20 minutes. One of the most visible tools familiar to CSI fans is the Alternate Light Source, or ALS for short. This device can be tuned all across the light spectrum to discover materials that might reveal clues, like blood and other bodily fluids on clothes, which in turn paints a clearer picture of the crime and persons involved. Sometimes skeletal and dental fragments are all that remain to investigators. The calcium lab at the center can extract DNA from ground up teeth to zero in on the owner's identity. The Firearms Investigation Lab maintains over 900 gun models on site, which can be used to compare against those suspected in crimes utilizing ballistic tank measurements and microscopic analysis to reveal the make and model of firearms used, whether recovered or not. To analyze evidence from cases to help provide information with respect to DNA in particular, um, it can help provide information that can help identify a perpetrator, but in many cases we're also exonerating individuals as being the donors of DNA left at crime scenes.